Hey, it's Wendy from EcoVeganGal.com, back with another What a Vegan Eats in honor of Vegan Mofo. I'm not in the kitchen right now because this is a video about yesterday, and I didn't make anything to eat yesterday. I just ate food made by other people. Uh, before I begin this video, though, this is my second vlog style for Vegan Mofo on this channel, and I wanted to kind of take a moment to respond to some of your reactions to that last video. Most of you are incredibly supportive, and your support means the world to me. This is why I keep making these videos, but I did receive more thumbs down on that video than usual, and there wasn't any um, comment about why there were thumbs down. So I just want to take a moment and say I know that my aim is to do a recipe every single day for you, but logistically sometimes it just doesn't happen. Yesterday I flat out forgot, <laughs> and I'll talk more about that in this video, but I want you to know that it does actually hurt my feelings when I get thumbs down, especially on the smaller channels, because I know that, you know, I kind of expect it on my bigger channel because it's a lot more exposed, but my smaller channel, most views are coming from people who subscribe to the channel or find me through my Facebook or something like that. So it feels a lot more personal. And so the thumbs down feel like they're coming from you, not just coming from strangers. And I could be wrong, but I just want to say that I to it's totally fine if you don't like a video, but please comment and let me know why. That makes it a lot easier for me to understand so I can figure out what you do like and what you don't like. When you just get a thumbs down from someone, it just kind of feels like, it feels, like a disrespectful thing, honestly, and and I have a lot of issues with this um, that I've been meaning to talk about on some of my other channels. It's I think it's just kind of sad that YouTube even has the thumbs down options. It's not to say that people aren't entitled to their opinions, but it just feels like creating negative energy. And when it's coming from a place where I'm trying to do good things and I'm offering so much information up to people for free, I pour my heart out, I de devote my life to this, Getting thumbs down from people that are supposed to be supportive is, is just very, very hurtful. So please, 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 if you have some constructive criticism for me, I'm always open to hearing from you. You can send me a private message. You can leave a comment. Whatever you want to do, just let me know. I'd rather work towards giving you what you want than just receiving negative feedback and having no idea why. And if, honestly, for that video, it made me feel like there was no... Like, why did I even bother making that video? The reason that I did was because I promised to do videos for you every single day. I did intend to do a recipe every single day, but it's turning out a week later. It's a lot, lot of work, so it might not be possible. Um, anyway, so I'm going to continue with these videos, but I'm going to turn off the ability to, to rate them because... You know, it's it's just not worth it for me. It's it's uncomfortable for me. And uh, again, if you want to give me feedback, let me know. I'm always willing to hear it. Now, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday was a really busy day for me, and that's why I didn't end up cooking. I don't think I ate anything until I went to a party later in the afternoon, and there was food there. There was a phenomenal organic gluten-free pasta salad, and it had some veggies in it and a little bit of oil. Um, and it was just, it was really, really tasty and flavorful. I, I haven't had a pasta salad in so long, and it reinvigorated my desire for them. So maybe I will be doing another recipe on that one. And then Jason came to the party, and he made this phenomenal beanless chili recipe that um, he's going to get a lot of good response on. Or I'm sorry, he got a lot of great response on at the party, and I'm hoping that he's going to make a video, maybe on this channel or his own. But it was absolutely delicious. I'm very sensitive to beans, so it was exciting to have a chili that didn't upset my stomach. And uh, we had the chili with some bean chips, which tend to be a lot easier for me to digest. The bean fields, bean and rice chips, we had the pico de gallo version, and they were so good. They were also really good with these raw zucchini chips. So think about that with chili. Dipping something crunchy and flavorful into them is really, really tasty. And we were so full off after that big meal, but we decided to go to the grand opening of a new location of a restaurant called Sage. Sage is a vegan bistro that's been open in Echo Park, which is out near Silver Lake. And they now opened a location in Culver City. So it's over by all the big studios and the freeways. And they had a big vegans of Instagram meetup there last night. We were still really full from our, our big picnic that we had on the beach with 
with the food I just mentioned. But uh, we ended up having a delicious ice cream on top of a gluten-free waffle. It was like a Belgian waffle style. It was amazing. And since I'm not editing this video, I'm not putting any pictures in, but if you want to see a picture of this, go check out uh, Jason's Instagram. You'll see this absolutely delicious, delicious dessert that we had. And we had superfood chocolate ice cream and an espresso ice cream. Was, I believe the ice cream was raw, but if not, it's very close to that. It's made with very simple ingredients. That's what I love about sage. They're very aware of organic and local, gluten-free, soy-free. They have options for everyone there. Everything's really flavorful, really creative. It was such a great, great place and a beautiful location. So when you're in L.A. or if you live in L.A., make sure you check it out. They also have a whole beer and wine section there and cocktails. and It's just a really, really fun place. Then uh, we went over to the new Viva La Vegan grocery store. They've had a huge grocery store. They, I think they say that they're the country or maybe the world's largest vegan grocery store. And they're way out, about almost two hours away from L.A. in Rancho Cucamonga. And I've never gone because it's, it's just so far away. It's on the way to Vegas, though. So <laughs> if you go to Vegas, you could stop there. Um, but they opened up a new, smaller location in Santa Monica. It's like they call it their express store. So I walked in expecting it to be kind of like not really exciting and not a lot of options there. But let me tell you, I was blown away by what they had. They had so many options. Everything was packed. Every shelf had hundreds of products on it and everything you could possibly need. And it was so fabulous to go to a grocery store and not have to wonder if anything's vegan. All I had to do was check and see if it was organic, gluten-free, and soy-free, and I knew that I was able to eat it. And normally those labels are right on the front of a package, whereas vegan, you really have to look at the ingredients in most cases. So it was such a relief. I think I've only been to one vegan grocery store, which is Food Fight in Portland. And Viva La Vegan has even more of a variety, in my opinion. And uh, that was just so exciting. They had refrigerated and frozen items. They had dog treats and all of these just little odds and ends and kitchen staples. And I was really excited. I got some organic cashews there, or not cashews, chestnuts. I'm so in love with chestnuts. And um, I had those as a great snack. So that was a summary of yesterday, and um, today I will be recording a video later this evening. I intend to make a recipe, and I have a bunch of great recipes coming up for you. So thank you all for your support. I know these vlogs are not the most exciting thing, but if you want to hear from me every day and you want to hear what I've been eating, here you have it. Thanks so much. I look forward to your feedback, and um, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.